If you've been shopping for meat lately, you might have gotten a sticker shock. The pandemic has pushed prices up, in some cases way up, particularly for beef. Ross, you have been looking into this. Uh, so what is happening with these sky-high prices? What's the cause here? Well, you got to ask Marcos Ferreira. He was shocked when he went to buy his usual cut of beef at Costco this past weekend. He noticed the price had more than doubled, and that's when he contacted us. Costco is usually known for quality beef at a good price, but Marcos Ferreira says he was shocked by what he saw at the Richmond Costco on the weekend. The price of the meat was really expensive. It was like way more than what I used to pay. He sent us the pictures. The price he paid in April on top sirloin was just shy of $13 per kilogram. The June price was more than double, just under $28 per kilogram. It was really shocked that increased that much in so short period. Yeah, they, they're huge jumps and, and it causes us concern as well. Two major processing plants in Alberta got hit by COVID. Cargill and High River had to be shut down and JBS and Brooks had reduced operations, both disrupting supply. Demand uh, and, and somewhat panic buying uh, uh, drove that price up. We saw price jumps across the board for all types of cuts. Wheat price check topped meat cuts at other stores like IGA and Safeway too. Although Costco's price on top sirloin had doubled, it was still the cheapest of the three. Costco was also the cheapest on rib steaks and tenderloin, with a bigger spread in prices on these cuts. But on strip loin, Costco was the most expensive, with Safeway the least. This was uh, unusual in the fact that we saw a, a tripling of wholesale prices. You may have noticed it too where you shop. IGA told CTV News that beef prices did increase slowly at first, then took off. The grocer said they held off as long as they could before they were forced to increase the price or stop carrying beef. Safeway says it experienced a disruption too, and Costco said it's not in the business of gouging customers, and as prices fall, it will pass on the lowest cost. The encouraging news, processing in Alberta is back to normal levels and prices are expected to come down quickly. It'll be um, probably a short-term blip because of that. This was something that we have not seen before. And Marcos hopes he doesn't see it again. Yeah, I just hope that the price get down again. And we've also heard there are increases in pork and poultry, but not to the same extent as beef. However, we should start seeing those prices start to come down, perhaps even this week. All right, some good news there. Uh, so, Ross, I'll ask you to look into that crystal ball of yours. Uh, do we know if this will be the end of those price hikes or if they might continue again? Well, let me see here. Ah, uh, yeah. No crystal ball here, but not necessarily. It depends on the virus and whether it can be contained. Workers in processing plants have been at greater risk, and if they get sick again and they have to shut down, we could see the same thing happen all over again. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks very much, Ross.